It's on the in the back of the van, and then I need you to tape a box up right where I drilled these holes. Got it? Okay. We're going to be installing our Max Air fans, and we made a box to collect the metal shavings. Hi, my name is Joanna. This is our empty Sprinter van. Me and my husband, Billy, are in the beginning stages of building it out into a camper. And in this video, we're gonna walk you through how we installed our two Max Air fans. <laughs> We ended up buying our fans off of Amazon. Everything that we'll use today will be linked in the description. Before installing our fans, after watching other YouTubers, we saw that a lot of people bought this attachment from eBay that helps place the fan on more evenly, more flush, so it's more sturdy when you're actually going to adhere it. And when we bought this attachment, it was great because they had a picture on their site showing you where to put your two fans if you do end up doing two, whether you're doing a 144 or a 170 Sprinter van. So that helped us knowing where to draw our original Sharpie outline of where we wanted to place the fans on the roof. Yeah, I see the four holes. Scratch. It's getting covered by whatever that crap's called. Map sealant. Billy decided to use tape to protect it from scratches anyways. Wow, is it in the box? It's in the box. The box worked. It's good. You need the vacuum, please. So we cut the sheet metal out. Now we're gonna go through and sand up the edges, scuff up the surface, clean it with the alcohol, all this here, prime all this bare metal. Then we'll throw down some of this 3M window weld on the bottom of these brackets that we got off of eBay that fit nicely along with all the grooves. Then we'll get the uh, fan trim go on top of that with the butyl tape. And then we'll pre-drill through, screw it all down, and then go over top of everything with the lap seal. The reason why we're doing two is so that we can get more airflow and have circulation so one can pull air in and the other one can push the air out essentially. So I'll be here recording, Billy's going to be doing the cutting and you guys can follow us along. So we have these brackets that we bought off of eBay. They're basically just to clear these ribs that are all over the van. It gives you a nice clean flat surface for your Max Airfan 2 it on. It's got little grooves notched out for that. It sits nice and neat. And then we take a sharpie and outline the inside of where we're going to cut. Remove that. I'll drill four holes in the corners. That way Joanna can go underneath and tape a box up so all the shavings and metal pieces are caught in that box.
So why wouldn't the fan come with that? Because mm, most people are fine with just putting on however it is. Because uh -huh. they put butyl tape on the bottom and that mm -hmm. kind of like sealed it, but not good enough for me. What would it look like without it? Nice and snug. What does the tape do? Just holding it down. So last time I did it, screwed through the butyl tape and all that. Mm -hmm. This time I just want to pre-drill and then put the screws in after I do all the other stuff. Because it was getting butyl tape and the window weld all over my drill bit. Is this like a fruit roll up? Mm -hmm. Fruit by the foot. Is that what it is? I, I couldn't remember. You never painted. Oh, shit. We found that the lap sealant gave better coverage by going side to side all the way around. Hi, Billy. Tap, tap. I'm gonna stick this down there. So you can wire it up. Hey. Dylan. <laughs> and then the water test. <laughs> Don't get me wet. Stop. <laughs> <laughs>